But our struggle since the 60s, you will see nothing but betrayals by the petty bourgeois elements in our society. The African bourgeoisie is the most corrupt bourgeoisie in the world. In Africa, they seek luxury in the midst of mass suffering. There are more Mercedes in Africa than in any other continent in the world. In America, as soon as they arrive at a position based on this blood of the people, they snatch that position and run away from the people. But you must not think that they represent the people. They only represent their opportunistic self using the people every step of the way. So you must not be confused. It must be clear then for the 60s, the class struggle in the African Revolution must be more ruthless and uncompromising than in any other revolution. Here yeah, then the masses must come without pity and without mercy to trample upon these reactionary pigs who after the people have gained struggle through their blood come to hand back the gains on a silver platter to the very enemy the people fought. This will come as a natural consequence. The people themselves are everywhere screaming that it's time for them to deal with these reactionary pigs. Even in America they say, our leaders must be held accountable. They're only saying here that these people must be accountable to those who made it possible for them to get there. Thus, not only is the revolution inevitable, but it is clarifying itself and it is qualifying itself. For the African masses everywhere, the clear poise position now for class struggle has become inevitable and irreversible. The petty bourgeoisie everywhere will be running for cover, but the masses will spare them not. Consequently, we, who have dedicated our lives to the people's struggle, we, who knowing that the people will always be free, we, understanding that we must make a contribution to qualify our struggle since the 60s, have been, dedicating, have been dedicating all our energies to only one task, the organization of the masses of our people. The organization of the masses of our people. We are not running for mayor, we're not running for president. No changes can come from the top down, we're not stupid. Changes can only come from the bottom up. The masses and the masses alone can make them. If you want to learn something from the 60s, the lesson is simple. Organize the masses of the people. Thank you. Thank you.